In this video, we'll explore the ins and outs of aspartame, a widely used sweetener that's both praised and criticized, so don't forget to hit like and subscribe. To begin, aspartame is an artificial sweetener around 200 times sweeter than regular sugar. Its story starts in 1965 when a scientist named James Schlatter stumbled upon its sweet taste by accident. He was actually trying to create an anti-ulcer drug when he discovered the sweet compound. Since then, aspartame has been widely used in food and drink industry, especially in diet and sugar-free products. You may have seen it listed on labels as A951 or NutraSweet equal spoonful and candorette. What makes aspartame so sweet is its chemical structure composed of two amino acids, phenylalanine and aspartic acid. In fact, our bodies naturally produce these two amino acids, which are also found in everyday foods like meat and vegetable. When consumed, aspartame is broken down in our bodies into these two amino acids and a small amount of methanol. You may have heard some concerns about the methanol, but it's also found naturally in many foods, including fruits and vegetables. And the amount in aspartame is quite small, less than what you would get from eating an apple. Aspartame contains zero calories, making it a popular choice for those watching their weight. Because it's so much sweeter than sugar, a small amount goes a long way contributing to its zero calorie count. Like with any food ingredient, moderation is key when it comes to aspartame. However, there is one exception to its safety, which is for people with a rare genetic disorder called phenylketonuria. These individuals can't metabolize phenylalanine, one of the amino acids in aspartame, which can build up and cause brain damage. That's why you see a warning on products with aspartame, alerting those with phenylketonuria. Despite its safety endorsement by health authorities, aspartame has been the subject of many rumours and controversies. Claims of it causing everything from headaches to cancer have circulated, yet most scientific studies have found no such links. While some individuals may have a sensitivity to aspartame, causing headaches or digestive upset, these cases are relatively rare. It's clear that more research is always valuable, but as of now, Aspartame is deemed safe when consumed in normal amount. Remember, it's always best to maintain a balanced diet full of variety and whole foods, regardless of your sweetener choice. Thanks for joining us to learn about aspartame today, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this.